Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here I am. Do, do, do. Talking about the basics. What's up, guys? This is Dave Trevor. I am such a goofball. Um, happy Friday. Welcome. This is Singing Tips number 37. We're going to be talking about the warm ups. This is going to be part one of the warm ups. And the warm ups are really, really significant. They really are just like the other ones, just as important, but at the same time, um, very crucial if you're going to want to learn how to sing and sing properly. So um, we'll talk about why I'm not doing very many warm-ups today, and this is again why this is going to probably be a two-parter or three-parter. Think of it like this. Warm-ups are really important because it's almost like the same thing when you go and work out. Your whole body consists of lots of different parts. Well, your voice is actually the same way. You've got parts in the throat. You've got parts in the front of the throat. You've got parts on the roof of the mouth, you've got um, your teeth, you've got your gums, you've got your jaw and your mouth, and everything that makes up and creates these uh, sounds. It doesn't necessarily matter what they're called, we'll get into that a little bit down the road in a different lesson, but the importance is that you do have them and they do work and that's what you need to recognize and realize. So with that being said, without further ado, let's get right into this. We're only going to do a few and uh, we're going to explain the theory as to why we're doing them too, because I've done these before in different lessons, but we're going to actually go in a little more in depth, actually quite a bit in depth, as to why you're going to want to do these. Okay, guys? Awesome. Here we go. So the first one is called Hey, 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 Hey. Now, I've done this one before, like I said, but the importance of this one is that it engages the diaphragm for singing. And if you guys checked out my lesson several lessons ago, you recognize that the diaphragm is the foundation. Without being able to sing properly from the diaphragm, you don't have a basis for singing. So you want to make sure that when you're doing that, that's what's going on. So it looks and it sounds like this. Hey! 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 Every time I say, hey, I'm actually engaging my diaphragm. And I'll show you real quick. You won't be able to see it very well from this angle because I'm sitting on a bed. But um, um, I'll try to do it so you can you see my stomach. So it's gonna every time I go hey, my stomach is gonna go out and contract because I'm using my diaphragm. So it's gonna look like this: hey, 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 hey. And notice there's not a whole lot of motion here. So w watch again: hey, 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 hey. I mean, as you can see, the only thing that's going on is this is moving because, of course, you got your Adam's apple. Girls, you don't have an Adam's apple usually, um, but guys, you'll definitely notice that your Adam's apple will be moving up and down because you're flexing, 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 see, flexing. That's the point of hey, 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 hey. So it engages the diaphragm for singing. And basically, when you're doing this, you're just going to want to start off and just in your normal kind of speaking voice, but as if you're kind of projecting like a louder tone and a louder voice out there, you're just going to do that a couple times. You know, big breath. Hey! 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 Right? Hey! 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 Okay, so my microphone probably clipped a couple times during that because it's a loud sound. After you incorporate that, you're going to want to learn to incorporate it on a note, but you're going to do the note on the last hey. So it'll sound and look like this. I'll put this down again. So it looks like this. Hey! 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 Do it from this angle now. Oops. Hey! 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 Easy. So that's called hey. And um, you can incorporate that. And if you guys need to pause it, um, go ahead. Great. Um, also, you can learn as an extra thing on top of that to start doing it so that you're saying, excuse me, you're singing a note with each hey. So it'll it'll look and sound like this. Hey, 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 hey. Again, you're not worried about the breath control. You're not worried about necessarily like, well, you, sorry, you are worried about the breath control, but you're not worried about the tone necessarily. And you definitely don't worry about trying to get a vibrato out there. It's just, hey, 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 hey. 
So yeah, um, those were better because it was more straight. The ha 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 ha. Um, and the last one's vibrato because I can't really help it. I've trained my vibrato so that it comes out fairly naturally when I'm uh, using my diaphragm. Okay. So that is hey, 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 hey. Okay. Okay. Next one is a little bit higher um, uh, step up than that. And it is called um, hey, come on over to my house. What this does, well, I'll do it first, then I'll tell you what it does. So what it does it, or what it looks like is this. So, hey, come on over to my house. Hey, come on over to my house. So the idea is that it teaches you how to stretch the diaphragm so that you're doing that all with one breath. So you would breathe in. Hey, come on over to my house. Hey, come on over to my house. And then I'll do it down here. Hey, come on over to my house. Hey, come on over to my house pretty basic right um, and it would sound like this because what you're the idea is to do it so that you're speaking it at first and then you want to put notes on it afterwards so a couple times without the whole exercise I guess will look like this hey come on over to my house 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 Pretty simple, right? Um, with this one. Hey, buddy, I'm I'm recording right now. I'm recording right now. <laughs> that was my brother. Um, the idea is that you, you want to make sure that you're incorporating this type of sound, and when you're doing this, it's gonna have the potential to just be this one note all the way through. But the thing you want to work on is to start going up and down the range. So it'll look and sound like this. It'll be like, hey, come on over to my house. Half step up. Hey, come on over to my house. Hey, come on over to my house. Hey, come on over to my house. So you'd go up, but then you would also go down scale. So it'd go, hey, come on over to my house. 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 And you would basically work it so that you're going up and down range with that. So, yeah, that's to what you need to use to start practicing so you, that you got one breath and you're using one breath from the diaphragm to get it so that you've engaged that whole thing, okay? The next one is called Good Blood, Bad Blood. And I've done another thing before called Bumblebee. Sorry, another warm-up before called Bumblebee. And for those that aren't familiar with it, it sounds like this. It goes, Bumblebee, 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 Bumblebee. And then you go up half a step. Bumblebee, 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 Bumblebee. And that's how that goes. But what we're going to do with this is going to go, um, this is going to, you're going to learn the importance of pitch, and you're also going to learn how to work your mouth, jaw, teeth, tongue, and vocal cords. So it sounds like a lot, but it would actually look and sound like this. So the phrase you're working for is good blood, bad blood. So it would look and sound like this. Good blood, bad blood, 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 good blood, bad blood. And the idea is that, yeah, it's a bit of a tongue twister, but you want to be able to do it and do it fast. And uh, we'll see. I had some food. Uh, no excuses. Let's see if I can't just do this. Look and sound like this. Good blood, bad blood, 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 good blood, bad blood. And you go up a half step. Good blood, bad blood, 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 good blood, bad blood. Okay, and I still goofed up a little bit, but you would get the idea that you're going half a step up, and then another half a step up, and then another half a step up, and then another half a step up, um, and then you would do the same thing going down. Again, these work your, your pitch, and they also work your range. Your range is basically the top section of where you think you can sing comfortably without, of course, straining the vocal cords, and the bottom so that you still sound like you're singing, but you're not like... Um, you're not sputtering out like it's just kind of coming out like Ugh, and growls and weird goofy noises. So going down, it would sound like this. 
Good blood, bad blood, 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 good blood, bad blood. Half step down. Good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood. Good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood, good blood, bad blood. And then you go half step down again. Good blood, bad blood, 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 good blood, bad blood. So it's kind of tricky. The idea is not to do it fast. The idea is to do it accurately. So if you have to slow it down and go, good blood, bad blood, 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 and then do it that way. Then do it that way. Okay. And the last one we're going to talk about today is called nia 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 nia. Do you remember growing up as a kid, people would go, nah, 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 nah. Well, that sound is something that you're going to want to work on if you're going to be a singer. The reason you want to work on it is because the idea behind this is that, um, well, let me let me show you first, and then I'll explain why you're doing it. So, um, um, you've heard me before do, um, ah, 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 and then, Ah, 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 ah. That's pretty obvious, right? Pretty standard. Well, the idea is that you're doing that same um, rhythm, but you're going to do it with nyas, and it's, so it's going to look like this. Nya 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 then you'd go down. I'm sorry. So the idea is that you want to get this sound behind it because it works on the nasal type of tone. Now, why is it important, you might ask? Well, it's important because... Um, you have a regular tone, which is pretty close to your speaking voice, most people. But the idea is that when you do this nya 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 sound, your pure voice will sound even more pure because you're basically stretching your vocal cord from one point and then basically bringing it back to the original point. And what's going to happen is naturally the voice will tend to be more pure. Um, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. So like, say I'm trying to say... Um, if I was the king of the forest, okay, pretty pretty standard. Now I'll do nya nya nya, and then I'll go back, and it's and you will tell just by me doing this simple warm up that your voice, that the tone of the voice will sound more pure. So nya 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 okay so now i'm going to sing that same thing that i just did a few minutes ago if i was the king of the forest notice i didn't really do a whole lot different but you could tell just from listening that the tone sounded more pure more enjoyable more um agreeable for everyone to kind of listen to. So that's it for that. You guys need to start practicing these. Practice these every day. And the idea is that I'm giving you short little snippets of how to practice these. But you get the idea that a practice warm-up session basically should be between five and ten minutes of warm-ups. You can do whatever kind of warm-ups you want to do, but I'm giving you some really good standard across the boards agreed upon basics that most vocal teachers excuse me, recommend that you do. Okay, so the idea with warm-ups is not to overwhelm. The idea with warm-ups is to work out several areas of the voice all at once. Because if you think about it, no song is the same. You you know you might have songs where it's like da 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 da, da and you might have songs where it's like la 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 la. So the idea is that if you've warmed up properly, you can sing a wider range of things because you've had a wide type of range when it comes to your warm-ups. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions about it, leave me questions in the comment section below. Moving right along, when listening to vocalists in the 
couple lessons ago, I said that you need to listen to those who have what you want and also listen to those who have been where you are vocally. Now, I've told all you guys to listen to me, but at the same time, I've told you also to go and do your research and um, you know figure out for yourself if you should listen to me. So I have some homework for every one of you guys to decide whether or not, yeah, I want to listen to Dave Trevor. No, Dave Trevor doesn't know what he's talking about. For the trolls, this doesn't apply. But there's a great, great percentage of you guys out there that want to really learn how to do this. So I want you guys to do your homework. So here's what I want you to do. Go to www, and I'll put a link in the description below, but www.darksidemonk.com. So again, it's www.darksidemonk.com. Check it out after you guys are done watching this video. Why? Because you'll get to hear me sing in a song that I've, has been produced, and you can decide whether or not you think that I know what I'm talking about. The style is something that I've kind of started to become kind of proficient at. I can do other styles, of course, and I was trained doing musical theater. But this way, you can judge for yourself whether or not you think that I know what I'm talking about. And this way, it helps you guys determine, oh, okay, this is the right person to listen to, or no, nah, I don't want to have anything to do with this guy. But because this way, you've made the decision, not me making the decision, it's your guys' decision. And with that being said, future videos, I'm going to have performances in different styles so that you can see and hear what each one of these ones sounds like. Because it's fine to give you theory, but if I'm not actually presenting and performing what I'm doing, why would you want to listen to me? That makes perfect sense. I got that as a couple comments uh, through some videos here a few weeks ago, and so there you have it. That is what I would suggest. Also, I want you guys to go and support my friend. Um, his name is Martin Schroeder. He has a band called Disdania. Um, again, the description is in the link below. But you just click on that link, and you're going to look vote for a band named Disdania. you got to sign up. It's an email thing. But uh, as soon as the contest is over, you can let him go. But the idea is that he's trying to perform in front of national touring acts, and he's uh, the fourth band out of uh, 20 or no, I think out of 60 bands here in Colorado. And if you don't live in Colorado, that's fine, but it really would mean a lot if you guys can support me. Again, it's it's totally your decision, but it means a lot to me. It means a lot to my friend Marty. And Marty's also the guy who put together the music and is the audio engineer behind the song that you're going to hear on DarksideMonk.com. If you guys can help me out, that would be awesome. Big, big, big announcement. I have class for Pow Pow starting tomorrow. It's going to be 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Again, it's 11 a.m. Mountain time. So if you're in the West Coast, that means it's going to be 10 a.m. If you're in the East Coast over by New York City, it's going to be 2 p.m. So again, 11 a.m. Mountain time. It's going to be a half hour. Um, sign up after this video because there's going to be limited space. I might be able to get like 12 students in. Um, and then if, I, if, if things go well, I'll definitely be able to do more of the same class down the road in the future. Okay, guys? Um, Space is limited, so like I said, I'm going to do more classes in the future. What you need when you come to class, you need a webcam and bring $20. Um, basically, you can charge $20 through your credit card, and as soon as it's been charged, you'll be in the class. I'm really excited to do this because I get to see everybody. I've already gone through the procedure of how it all works, and it's going to be really, really exciting because you guys can ask questions. It's going to be pretty much one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I'll be able to stop the lesson and say, oh, people have questions, great, let me finish this thought and I'll answer these questions. It's going to basically be, be, be half theory and application and the rest answering your guys' questions on the fly. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys all attend. Again, it's t again totally your decision, but if not, I will see you guys tomorrow um, on powhow.com. Again, check the link in the box, uh, the box right here and just go there, click on it, sign up. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, uh, tweet me or um, talk to me on my Facebook, and I can help you guys out with that. So next week, we're going to be talking about more on the basics. We're going to talk about what kind of va basics to avoid. We're also going to be talking about uh, ranging basics and extra breathing basics and much more. So once again, my name is Dave Trevor. Thanks for tuning in, to guys. I know this was a little bit of a longer lesson, but I appreciate all you guys. I had to make it long because there's a lot to this, but I also didn't want to overwhelm. So there you guys have it. That is the lesson for tonight. And if you guys haven't already, you can find me on my Twitter right here. And you guys can find and follow me on Facebook right here. And subscribe if you guys haven't already and you guys like what you see. Please subscribe. 
and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.